We're going to unload today. We haven't done a reveal, I guess, or an un unload for a long time. It's always very exciting. I, I never get tired of unloading a kiln. Every, everyone does kind of feel like Christmas morning. I'm going to share what we've been in there. I, I haven't seen what's in there. I've got some art pieces that I'm going to talk about later and some glazed samples, but they're not really glazed samples because I kind of just went ahead and glazed everything and went, dang, I hope it turns out. Anyway, let's just get unloaded and then I'll talk about what comes out. This is it. I'm unloaded. And uh, the art pieces I'll talk about in a minute, they, they're kind of cool and we'll talk about art we have before. But I got to talk about the glaze test that I put all over everything. And all I can say is, holy pink, Batman. <laughs> it's very underfired. It's, it's, it's supposed to be a, a, a deep, um, like cornflower, strong blue, and it's not quite there yet. It, it can go in for a refire. It'll, it'll, it'll get better. I'll show you. But I, I'm sure there's someone out there. There's that one person who's going to say, oh, it's a lovely glaze. And, and no. Reminds me one time we were playing again with the, 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 the pinks and the blues and the colors. And we came up with a glaze, what I call burn scar red. It was just mottled and pink. It was just gross. It looked like someone had been horribly maimed by something very hot. We put it online to tell people what not to do. And someone wrote in and said, oh, it's gorgeous. So if that one person is watching, this is a nice glaze. <laughs> but only for them. But I'm going to leave it. Um, I went on to the art pieces. Uh, oh, I didn't mention the other glaze that came out. Yeah, this is our um, this is our coots grass. This is a glaze we came up with after we moved here, and it's at a perfect temperature. This is a pretty glaze. It's inside the bowl, it's outside. It's a really nice glaze. Um, it does run quite a bit. I put it on this little candy dish here. Christmas is coming, and it does run. I had it up to about here, and it ran a good two inches down. So as long as you give it lots of room and know it's going to run, it's a cool glaze. I'm happy with that one. That one's not under fired. Uh, but we also took these art pieces out. And now she's got a pink head, and I know that sounds sexist, and she's a lady. I think I'm okay with her pink head because she's a, a lady. Um, I had fun with these. I, I talked a while ago, uh, what is art? And I said, art is just play. But art is more than play. Uh, a friend of mine, well, actually, it was my favorite author, uh, Anonymous, told me that art isn't art until it's sold. Until then, it's just an obsession and a storage problem. And that's very true. When you sell something, it gives it acceptance. And there's a process to becoming an artist. Um, I'm a potter. I've made pots. And I thought, well, those are nice. And then my friends and peers saw them and go, yep, you're a potter. Then I put them out in the public, and the public bought them. So I went through the process. And now, after that acceptance and being paid for my work, I am a potter. But I want to be an artist. And so I've made stuff that I like, and I, have, well, I haven't had a lot of um, peer acceptance because I've always been a head down production potter. I've always been in a basement somewhere, a back room, um, just making pots because I had to get paid because I've always been a potter and that's how I get paid. Um, but anyway, I haven't had, haven't had that much acceptance from peers because I haven't had the luxury or the fun of working with a lot of peers. And I haven't had a lot of public acceptance selling. I've sold a few pieces over the years. I've always played and made kind of funky things. Um, but I've never really sold it. I remember a few years ago, I went on this binge, and I made a whole bunch of uh, masks, and for sun masks. So we were going to the Edmonton Folk Festival, and we were going to sell all these funky garden art to all these people. And I had, oh, I don't know, totes of these things. And I carried them in there, all excited, because art's very personal. And we hung them up behind me, and I stood at my booth, and I sold two. <laughs> and I put them back in my storage, and I took them home for a year, and I hung them all up again next year, and I sold maybe one. And so then I put them back into storage, and then we were moving down to here, and I thought, well, what am I going to do with all these totes? I mean, they're no longer, I mean, all these, these masks, they're no longer fun anymore. I've been carrying around and storing them for years. So when we moved, I put them in a box and sold them by the pound at auction. I got less per box of masks than I got per mask selling as art. It was a bit of a lesson. So I had, I had got the storage and the obsession part down, but I hadn't got the selling. So uh, I want to be an artist, like I said. And I, I tried selling art in stores, and they just said, well, it's kind of nice. Maybe you can try one on consignment. Other guys say, we just don't want any of that whimsical stuff. So I want the whimsical stuff. 
And so I thought, I'd like to be an artist. Um, it costs the same amount of money uh, to create product with art as it does for pottery. Uh, so I can't afford just to play with these and then store it in bins and carry it around with me. So I thought I'm going to be an artist and I'm going to start trying to sell this stuff. And art's a very personal and scary journey. What better than take a personal scary journey onto the internet? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, approach some galleries in Calgary. I'm going to uh, do some work online and see if I can't get more acceptance as an artist and less acceptance as a potter. I'm kind of tired of making pots. I've been making pots for a very long time. There's something very nice and warm and familiar. I get all my clay wedged up and my music is on and I start throwing pots. It's very zen-like and very kind of fun. But then it's, it's kind of like that snowstorm, all that warm and fuzzy is, is really cool. It happens and then you sit inside and then you want it to all go away. Um, anyway, I'm rambling on, but I, I would like to do more art and less work. But speaking of work, I've got to get to work because there's lots of pots around the studio. I've got to get the glaze today and loaded. Today we're going, it is uh, that we're Border Rascals. We're a member of the Seniors Club, which is sometimes, I can say that because people who are I'm talking about art on, art on the internet, is sometimes like visiting the home. <laughs> but they're very sweet and fun people at the home. We're uh, dressing up for Halloween. We're having an Oktoberfest and I got to make some fried German potatoes. And then tomorrow we've got to get the rest of the stuff. We've got to make sure this stuff is out of here because we're back with lessons again. We have all the little kids coming in and doing pumpkins and kid lessons. And anyway, I get through today and tomorrow it will feel like more than two days. <laughs> it's going to be a day.